Happy Christmas! Well, what's Tabasco doing on Christmas Day in this book, Tabasco the Saucy Raccoon? We are in the Okanagan and I said, Jack, we're going to have Christmas dinner outside. Really? Yes. We're going to have outside on the ice at Trout Creek. And then we can go skiing and we can do a lot of outside activities. Other people stay inside, but we're going to be outside. Next day, we had a Christmas dinner party and a gift opening for the animals down at the creek. Our guests were Shelley, Jack's 12-year-old daughter, who was visiting us for the Christmas holidays, Tabasco, and Beauregard, our dog. I hung gaily wrapped boxes of dog food meaties, mandarin oranges, nuts, juicy bones, and boxes of apple jacks on the bare branches overhanging the creek. And Tabasco either stretched up on the ice and pulled them down, or else he walked along the limbs and pulled them up. And then he had the fun of tearing into the packages, shredding the paper and ripping out the contents. This was the raccoon's first Christmas, and he must have wondered why he was allowed to do things that were definite no-nos in the office. After dinner, we played hockey on the partly frozen creek. Tabasco didn't need skates or sticks or pucks. He slipped and skidded over the ice batting ice balls with his flat hands and feet. He play, splayed out his toes to get a better grip and waved his tail from side to side for better balance. He used the same equipment when we went cross-country skiing with Shelley on the weekends. At first, he wanted to stay in the car and bite Beauregard's ear, but when we put on our skis and left him, he decided to follow. He plunged into the powder snow and floundered around till he found our tracks. He looks like a powder puff, said Shelley with a giggle as we turned around to watch Tabasco spattered with snowflakes, humping after us with his shoulders hunched, tail waving and nose steadfastly pointed forwards. The tracks were deep. All we could see of him was his tail. He made faster progress when we reached the snowmobile tracks. He stopped snow plowing and started galloping on the harder surface. Look! called Shelley. He's heading away to that tree. He's making his own tracks. The courageous little raccoon was in strange country, but he recognized a tree, the only one in this vast expanse of whiteness, and he wanted to climb it. He left the main trail and pushed through the virgin snow to a huge ponderosa pine hung with pale green lichen. We rested on our skis and watched while he tried to climb the smooth, icy bark. With all four limbs splayed outward as far as they could go, he snatched jerkily at the tree to propel himself upwards the way a logger does. Unfortunately, not being able to hug the tree with his arms as he did phone poles or the spindly fruit trees in our orchard, he kept slipping downwards. He's found some woodpecker holes, Jack told us, looking through his binoculars. He's poking his fingers into them to haul himself up that way clever little coon. Jack's not usually has, has positive things about the raccoon. So that was good. Raccoons have good memories. The ponderosa was a dead tree and Tabasco remembered from past experience that dead limbs could break under his weight. He made no attempt to walk along the side branches. Instead, he sat in a fork of the tree and chewed the green lichen. Jack could appreciate some raccoon abilities, but he couldn't wait until Tabasco had tired of his tree. We had to push on. As the distance increased between us and with Beauregard, our dog, barking encouragement, the raccoon turned himself around on the trunk and descended, finally. To allow it slow his descent, he turned his hind feet backwards the way a squirrel does. The curious raccoons are always being distracted. He suddenly veered off his freshly raccoon ploughed track and floundered through virgin snow again to a low gully. Well, I guess we have to ski where the raccoon goes, said Jack a bit grimly. When we got to where we last saw him, Tabasco was skating down the sicy sides of a gully. He expected us to play with him. While Jack watched, Shelley and I kneaded snowballs into ice balls and rolled them down the bank like miniature avalanches. Tabasco slithered along the thin trail they made and tried to catch them. He can catch them okay, laughed Shelley. Trouble is, he won't throw them back. 
so we have to go and make some more and try back to him. Needless to say, after a day of snowshoeing, skiing and skating, Tabasco's always slept in the car on the way home. So that was his one of his Christmases. So if you're doing some traveling this Christmas and to visit some families when they're spread out across Canada or wherever, then you've got to be traveling and in the winter it's pretty icy and can be a problem. But um, just keep your eyes on the road and watch out for raccoons.